How's it going, friends? Welcome to Two Pixels Off. My name is Brad Hussey, along with my co-host and friend, Mike Janda. How are you doing today, Mike? I'm super good. Hey, Brad, I was editing Two Pixels Off video edits this morning, and I noticed something that we haven't talked about. Well, number number one that I noticed was I, di- I didn't mention this last time we recorded, but you shaved off your freaking mustache. Which I should <laughs> have, I should have been like, I should have been calling you out on that and making jokes and yeah. all the stuff that I like to do, but I didn't. Yeah. So I am going to make jokes about something else mm. on this episode. And that is what is up with your left pinky, man. Welcome to Two Pixels Off, a podcast for creative entrepreneurs. It's like all see my jacked pinkies? off sideways. What is, oh, I wouldn't say what that. is going what? on? <laughs> what is the story? Here. So just so everybody Look. knows, what I saw in the video, his ta- his his digit, it's on both of them? Both pinkies his are crooked. Digit, yeah, his digit, his his uh nail pinky. digit on his pinkies is just freaking like on a 45 degree angle. Yeah, it's so full 45s, ex- I think. Explain this to me. What 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 is going on? So I'm sure there's some sort of condition or something out there in the science world, but it's just genetic. My grandfather really? had bent pinkies and, 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 you know, we thought, I mean, you would think it's like an arthritis thing or something, but no, it's literally his pinkies were bent. And then wow. my mom's pinkies aren't bent. I mean, she kind of has a little bit, but I think a lot of people have a natural curve to their pinkies. Um, but then mine are fully bent and my That's kids crazy. Yeah. Like like my kids don't have, they're as much seriously as bent. Yeah. They're fully 45s when I can yeah. really freak people out with it. If you see it on yeah. video, there's a, well, I noticed like it series. on the video and I was like, man, he must've had his finger freaking broken or something. Or something. And then it grew back. Grew no, it like they joined in. Wow. They both bend normally. I mean, they click a little bit. And I, yeah. I fully anticipate that I'm going to have arthritis in my hands. I mean, like mm-hmm. I have arthritis in my family. Like my grandmother has arthritis and my mom's got some. And so because I got these pretty janky pinkies, I'm imagining yeah. as I gracefully age into a gentleman, those into pinkies are going to cause me some trouble. <laughs> some you're not going to have to worry. But that's the thing. Because you're never going to grow into a gentleman. So you're never going to have to worry about <laughs> You're never going to have to worry about that. That's because I shave my mustache. When I, sh- when I grow the mustache, I'm an instant gentleman. You do. Commanding much you, more respect. You are. You yeah. are. For sure. You, you look know, like Mike, a, if you nine... grow a mustache, I yeah. think I'd, I wouldn't even bother trying to knock you down. Oh, I could use bit. more knocking down because it would make me feel more balanced in our podcast. I, <laughs> I also noticed that in my editing that I got a lot of Canada jokes out there and I got a lot of um, trying to pad my ego at Brad's yeah. expense jokes out there. Um, so I just want to apologize to the entire country of Canada. Um, I love the Canadian people. And um, you know what? with the exception of a couple like Brad and 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 his grandpa with the busted pinkies and stuff but <laughs> the rest of them are just great the rest of them are good great, great people yeah and the rest are good now we're good yeah. we 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 accept we accept you we accept you wholeheartedly that's good you're very accepting yeah. very accepting <laughs> <laughs> all great. right so well that before we is get good. too off track here <laughs> yeah i'm sure we'll get off track a number of times this comes with the territory of the show i guess um I was thinking about, I have a hard time, even though I've been doing this a long time, I think it's natural for, for designers, for entrepreneurs, self, you know, creative entrepreneurs, especially, uh, running their own business as freelancers, like I have a hard time explaining what you do, uh, Mm. not only in person, but on your website. Um, and, and you're like, how do I communicate what I do? What, what is it that I, you know, it's like, Hey, what do you do? And you're like, I'm a de- web designer. I do web design yeah. for people yeah. who need it. And you're like, that's so lame. And I, I struggle with that. Um, even to this day, but I know the formulas and the ideas of how to shape shift and depending on who's listening, you can communicate your value to the right person. And I, I know how to do that, but a lot of designers and creative entrepreneurs alike do not know how to do that and how to communicate themselves on their websites and portfolio and in person. And I'm wondering, 
if we have any solutions to that problem. Mike? Uh, it's, it's interesting that you would bring that up because it just so happens that we have some copywriting formulas for no advertising way. marketing copy that we could share with the two pixel offers. That's the new name for the audience. The nice. two pixel offers. Uh, we could share those today and help them craft better sales conversations. What a great idea. I think that that's a great, great idea. idea for this episode. And before we get into that in, in detail, shout out to Wix Studio for making the Two Pixels Off podcast possible. We appreciate Wix Studio. Great people at Wix Studio and great product. It's, it is honestly, it is like almost every single week that they're launching something new. And somebody in yep. my community just a few days ago said, hey, Mike, I've been watching the Wix Studio thing and I saw their template gallery or the marketplace where people can create their own templates and offer them up in the marketplace and how that's expanding the library. And she was like, what do I do to get started? And I mm -hmm. said, just go to, to Wix.com slash studio or Wixstudio.com also works. Both work. And yeah. sign up and you can try for free. You can play yeah. with it for free and you can play with the templates and the modules and play with it for free. It, and you can publish for free as well. Mm -hmm. You just have to uh, pay if you're going to remove branding and have custom domain and some of these other features. So if you're going to do it for yeah. paying client or oh, yourself, no your own marketing site, you're going to want to um, do a payment. But the payment is just like buying hosting from any other yeah. hosting company anywhere. So you're going to have to pay something That's right. to be on the Internet. And this is just one of you the gotta pay to play makes it so easy if you're doing yeah. business, you know, yeah. and that's the name of the game. And the value you get when you pay for a premium plan with Wix Studio, I don't think there's I don't think it's matched. It's unmatched on any of the other competing platforms, whether it's just like a hosting uh provider or it's like a website building service. There's lots of them out there. We all know them. Um, and they all mm -hmm. have their ups and downs. Um, but it's unmatched the value you get from like SSL to the security to uptime to the customer service, the editor, the features, CMS, email marketing. I can go on and on. It would be a whole episode yeah. of just listing the value you get. And I've been more and more impressed. And I've been singing its praises for a long time now. But as I actually use it, which I do, I don't just talk about it being great and don't actually use it. I genuinely use it. I switch sites over to it. I'm using it to build sites. And I'm just always shocked in a great way about how easy it is to use, how easy it is to, to set things up like content management systems. I'm building something right now where I need a CMS and it's just like, it's, it's too easy to set this stuff mm -hmm. up. So definitely check it out. Use it for your own agency, your own sites, whether it's your own personal portfolio site or better yet for your agency, for your client sites. Um, big, big thumbs up. For Wix Studio in yeah. that department. Um, and also with one other checklist we need to do for the intro is subscribe subscribe and subscribe. leave us a review. Notifications, right? subscribe all that podcast? stuff. Yeah, turn, turn it, all it all on. on. Click Ding all the, the buttons. Click yeah. all the buttons. Yeah. Click them all. Except Perfect. for the thumbs right. down button. Yeah, don't, don't click do that the one. thumbs down button. All the rest. Don't report us. Don't do any no. of that. No one wants that headache. It's a pain in my no. butt. No. Yeah. All right. Well, Let's do it. Okay. Let's talk about how we, these copywriting formulas, let's jump in. What is the first copywriting formula that we can use not only for a copywriting and for writing headlines and things like that, but applying yeah. it directly to how we sell our own services in person or on our websites. Okay. So I think let's, let's do it in contrast to the norm and the norm okay. for a designer or a creative entrepreneur a budding creative entrepreneur who doesn't understand the crux of sales conversations. The core is for somebody to ask you, hey, what do you do? Oh, I'm a graphic designer. And that's the response. Or, oh, I'm that's a right web on. designer. And that's the response. And they don't know where to go after that phrase. Or, and they do it on their websites too. And you, you and I both critiqued a lot of designer websites. And so frequently it is hero section and then below that you've got the work section 
And then below that, maybe you have a paragraph about me. And then below that, maybe you have a bullet point list of your services. And then below that, maybe you have a call to action. There's no salesmanship in that formula, yet so many people use it. And in fact, a lot of the template portfolio galleries, that's the template they're giving you, the Behance templates and stuff. You want to post your stuff on Behance and then publish it using their, I don't remember what they call it, but it's its a Behance website, essentially. Adobe Portfolio, I think, is what, yeah. is what it's called. And it's a great little tool, but there's no salesmanship in it. It is just posting a gallery. And what we're going to talk about here is let's figure out how to articulate what you do with some salesmanship using tried and true formulas. Mm. So that was my long intro to the AIDA formula. Do you want to give us, since I gave that, that transition, you give us the AIDA formula. What is that formula? This one's classic and I, it, I'm not surprised it's the first one. <clears throat> it's kind of like the most used one in my opinion because it's, I think, I think it's so. so reliable. And the AID formula, AIDA or the ADA, if you want to say it, formula is attention, interest, desire, action. And so the way you break that down is you, the first thing you write is something that grabs the attention of the reader and this, uh, something that's just stops them in their tracks or some variation. That's the idea. You want to grab their attention. Mm -hmm. A great headline. We can get it to examples in a moment, but some yeah. sort of great headline that stops them in their tracks. You want to stop them. Literally when people are scrolling yeah. on their phones or scrolling on their mouse, on their computer or iPads or whatever they're doing, you want them to stop scrolling. So it was like a pattern disrupt. So this attention now, Let's say they click through and you got that attention headline. Interest is the next one. And so what you want to do is you want to transition them from that headline that grabbed that attention and then bring them into the first line of your content or the message. Every single line of your copywriting needs to lead to the next. And that's something that people need to pay attention to is what, regardless of the formulas that, that we'll go through here, every single line needs to lead into the next if there's an opportunity for the reader or listener to jump out, jump ship, they will take it. You know, if they're bored or if the through line isn't there, or if you're not leading them into the next idea, then you're going to lose people. It's like a leaky mm -hmm. bucket. And so interest is to transition them from that headline into the body content. Desire is meant to make them want what you're offering, whether it's literally you're selling something or you're giving something away or it's content. You make them, you want them uh, to want what you have on offer. And then action is the call to action is kind of like the cherry on top, the now what, and is it something, is it book a call? Is it buy the product? Is it download the resource? Is it sign up to the Creative Crew community at creativecrewcommunity.com? Is it, what is it? So that's, that, that's the formula, A-I-D-A. -A. Should we get into an like, example of what that looks like? Heck yes. At attention, interest, desire, action. Okay, so I fed my AI named Sally which is my pet name for chat GPT, chat GPT. My, my chat GPT, my special, my special someone, <laughs> my, my special Sally. Um, I fed, I fed Sally with this idea of, okay, I'm going to make this as generic as I can. And I'm going to see what Sally comes up with for this formula. And so I said to Sally, write a sales uh, or I, I sell graphic design services, so I'm just made it as broad as possible. I sell mm -hmm. graphic design services, write some sales copy for me using the AIDA formula. And I didn't okay. give it, I didn't give Sally any more instructions than that. And Sally's getting good. Sally's pretty smart. She knew what I was going for. And so we have a good relationship, me and <laughs> Sally. She loves me and I can't, I can't stop. I can't stop her from that. You know what I'm saying? Okay. 
So this is Mike what Sally came. This is what Sally. This is what Sally came up with. Um, and I'm going to cut a couple pieces of this out because they, some of these got a little long. But this is Sally telling you how to write sales copy if you're a graphic designer instead of just doing hero, then your gallery, then about you, then mm -hmm. services bullet points, then maybe you have a button in the bottom that says call me. Right. We're going to do this. We're going to have some kind of headline to grab their attention, stand out in a crowded market, or let's overhaul your brand, or a new brand, your business deserves a new brand, or your competitors are stealing your customers. Yeah. All of these kinds of things can invoke an emotional response. So this is the attention thing. And then Sally okay. says, we go to interest. Interest. Imagine a brand that not only looks stunning, but also resonates deeply with your target audience. Whether you're a startup looking for a fresh logo, an established business needing a rebrand, or someone who wants a website that converts, I'm here to help. With years mm -hmm. of experience in branding and web design, I create designs that speak directly to your customers and leave a lasting impact. Now, honestly, Brad, you and I, we, we were experimenting with the AI stuff a year ago when the big boom happened. This is getting pretty freaking good. Like that mm -hmm. piece of copy right there is pretty freaking good. So mm -hmm. we're, we're creating interest. And then we go in and we transition them to desire. And this is what Sally says we should do for desire. What if your brand could tell a story that excites, engages, and persuades? My custom designs are more than just visuals. They're strategic tools that amplify your message, attract your clients, and position you ahead of the competition. It's time for your brand to be more than just a logo. It should be a powerful experience. So we're creating desire and then action. Ready to elevate your brand? Book a free consultation today and let's bring your vision to life with professional designs that convert. Limited slots available, don't miss out. Button, <clears throat> click. That's the flow yep. using AIDA. Mm -hmm. What are your thoughts? And I, so this is a great first example of how that formula is put into practice. My feedback on that would not be to say, okay, it's not good enough, or uh, I mean, maybe there's a couple words in there that are pretty AI sounding, like AI likes to use the word elevate yeah. a lot. I tend to try and yeah. stay away from certain words like that. But imagine how much better this output would be if we had a niche that we were targeting. Now, imagine you're a graphic designer. So, you know, your initial prompt was write a sales ad for graphic design services using the ADA formula. Imagine if it was like graphic design services for a specific target industry. And, and then you even added one more variable to make it even more specific, like uh, uh, one day refreshes, you know, graphic design refreshes or uh, logo and brand in a week mm -hmm. for this industry. And if you told it, use the AIDA formula for my graphic design services for the, uh, let's use lawyers. Let's use coffee shops. We did plumbers last time and it sucked. Okay. Coffee shops, way more interesting than lawyers or plumbers. Okay. What well, coffee shops, what okay. about breweries? Breweries are hot. Okay. Breweries. Okay. Breweries. So we're going to pander to design. the drunkard pixels yep. listening to this show. A lot of people are listening to the show at three in the morning. They're like, I'm hammered. I need to get my business fix while I'm, yeah. while I'm drinking this hoppy. Way. Brad is hoppy so much beers. funnier when I'm smashed. So let's target, <laughs> let's target breweries. In Here's this. a fun tip. Okay. If you put us on, on half speed and listen back, we sound like we've had way too many hoppy IPAs. Um, yes. <laughs> that aside, breweries, graphic design for breweries. Uh, where it's logo and brand identity in one week. That's the offer. I bet you if you use that AIDA formula using that specific, those levers, I bet you would be even more interesting and powerful. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put this in and we're going to see what comes up with Sally. Sally, 
She's wonderful. Sally. And we're going to see, see what she comes, comes up with here. My agency does logo and brand design in one week for breweries. Write some copy using AIDA formula. Let's hear okay. It. Write some sales copy. That's all I'm putting. We're going to see. Oh, Sally gave me two options. Response number one, response number two. I'm going to start reading response number one. We got. Okay. Is your brewery, this is attention, is your brewery ready to stand out in the crowded market? Imagine having bold, unforgettable logo and complete brand identity in just one week. There's your attention, your attention grabber. Interest. At Bradco, we specialize in working with breweries like yours to create striking logos and cohesive brand identities that capture your unique flavor and culture. Whether you're a startup looking to make a splash or an established brewery needing a refresh, we'll craft a design that tells your story, attracts new customers, and makes you stand out on the shelf. Desire. In just one week, our expert team will deliver a full brand package designed to enhance your brewery's visibility and leave a lasting impression. Think vibrant logos, compelling color schemes, and a look that matches your brewery's personality. With our fast, efficient, and creative process, you'll have a fresh brand identity ready for labels, signage, merchandise, and more faster than you thought possible. Action, ready to brew something incredible. What the heck? That's it's getting clever getting creative, Sally. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ready to brew up something incredible? Contact us today for a free consultation and let's create your perfect brand for your brewery in just one week, starting now. Okay. Now, if you just hand delivered that, like just out of the box, that's great. Imagine now taking that and spending 20 minutes, 40 minutes yourself, tweaking some things. And modifying that to, yeah. to just be that much more perfect. Like that's so good and so much better than I'm a graphic designer. What if you're in the elevator or you're at the, sh you're at lunch, uh, or like a business networking international, or just like a downtown event. And you just start talking to somebody outside of a food truck and someone's like, Hey, what do you do? You know, you're talking with someone, Hey, what do you do? And you say, Oh, I'm a graphic designer. They go, oh, good for you. How's that going for you? I hear like Canva makes it easy for everyone to graphic design things. I like Canva too. I'm a graphic designer. You're like, okay. So there's that. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, I, uh, I run a creative agency for uh, that when we create logos and brand identities and packaging for breweries. And then that person's like, hold up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I run... Bradco, the new brewery. We just opened up just mm -hmm. outside of town. Did you hear of us? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've been drinking your beer. Okay. Can we talk? That's totally different. That's not, mm -hmm. oh, I do Canva too. Hey, cute. We're mm -hmm. graphic design mm -hmm. buddies. It's like one commands respect and is you can help me. And yeah. one is, oh, you play with computers for a living. Good for you. Yeah. yeah. So I, I think you brought up something interesting there. Well, you, and you mentioned this in the first round too. You got to personalize this stuff. Don't just take what Sally yeah. gives you and regurgitate it onto your website. Customize this for yourself, your words. You, like how many of us are saying cohesive brand yeah. something or other and yeah. um, exclusively like it's using it, it, it Sally likes to use big words like this compelling yeah. logo and cohesive brand. Nobody's really talking this way. So we can bring this down to a more human version. That's what yeah. you should do. You shouldn't just take what ChatGPT gives you and just poop it out onto your site and hope for yeah. this. Be it as it may is better than what most designers are out there yeah. using for their marketing. They're, yeah. they're not using any copy yeah. for the most part. Yeah, take what's there um, and then making it conversational, I think, is important too. You brought that point yeah. up too. I think that that let's figure out how do we do this in a conversation. Yeah, and uh, here's a great. I want to give one example here. Maybe we can go on to our next formula. But this one it deserves kind of the bulk of the attention here for the first bit yeah. because it's so tried and true. I yeah. followed this formula, and thing is, with all these rules, you can break them. Use it as a framework, and feel free to like 
loosen up a little bit, you know, un- unbuckle over here, like kind of, you know, get a little crazy if you want and try it out, but follow the formula as kind of like a hook onto it and then feel free to let, the- let loose a little bit. Um, so here's one that I did for my done in one day email marketing mm. and it works. I know it works. I spent a lot of time. This was before AI. I wrote this. So I actually put a lot of time into this and there's no AI in this at all. Um, that means so, when we rip on it, it'll be even more hurtful. Pain, it'd be painful. Go. Well, Go. Okay. you can rip on me, but this I'm pays bills. So if it, I, dude, I'm <laughs> super nice. Me. I don't rip on you. I don't take cheap shots. Not at all. I'm here. Not even a little bit. As, as complete. Not even a little bit. Admiration and support. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So I got a couple of variations on it. One's the, this one is for the landing page where the only copy on it is this. So it's not perfectly following the A-D-A, AIDA formula, but here's the idea. We build fire funnels and the fire is literally an emoji. So I'm not right. It's, it's we build mm. fire funnels an email strategy for creators that double leads and skyrocket course sales. So that's the heading. Subheading? It's pretty solid. Pretty solid. Here's the mm-hmm. subheading. And we get it done for you in one day. So there's my next piece. Little paragraph below that. Step one, watch this. And it's my video, which also follows the AIDA formula. So it's a video, it's scripted. And it's, it's funny, it's cheeky, and that's part of the brand. And it follows that formula. And the action is step two, drop your email here. Show me how. And then it gives them the information. Now I got your email. I follow up over email. I sell them over email and it works. It works. It works. It works. It is so great. Now the landing page, once you opt in also follows the formula. I won't go through all the copy because it's pretty long form copy, but the heading is still funnel hacking your competition, hoping to copy their success. Give me one day with your kit account and you'll be the one competitors want to copy. Want to talk about it? Book Mm -hmm. a call. So there it is. A I D A. So it's Mm -hmm. attention still funnel hacking your competition. People in the funnel world know what that is. And they go, yes, I'm totally just copying people's funnels, hoping that it'll work. It never does. And then I come in and I go, give me one day with your account and you'll be the one that people want to funnel hack. And they're like, oh, I like that. That's interesting. Do you want to talk about it? I kind of do. Book a quick call. And there it is. And it works. It, it's awesome. And this is interesting. Um, I just put this on the screen for those of you that are watching the video version of this, but this is his landing page and how simple it is. It's really relying on the formula and the simplistic copy. There's not a lot of bells and whistles, crazy stuff going on here. And you can see the formula right here just so clearly. Attention is right here. We build funnels and email strategy for creators that double leads and skyrocket course sales. Okay. That got my attention. And then as simple as this, and we get it done for you in one day. That's interest. I'm interested. And then desire, watch this video. And that's where the desire is going to come from. So we're trying to get them into the video where you're going to give them enough information that they want the thing. And then you got just on the bottom here, drop your email here to show me how. That is as easy as it gets. Now, this is... Brad, I know I was going to make jokes, but there's no jokes to be made here. This is really, really solid, really solid. Brad's kicking back. He's taking a drink. He's feeling yeah. proud. He's he can't. He doesn't know what to do with the compliments. When I give him the compliments, he doesn't know what to do. Patting my own He's back. He's used to like shielding himself from the ridicule, <laughs> but today it's compliment city. <laughs> Emotional damage. Anyway, it's really, really solid. And this, right, I think the, the takeaway here is this is how easy it can look if you're using a formula to craft your messaging rather than just opening the blank page and saying, what do I say next? Or creating your elevator pitch, opening the blank canvas, the blank text doc, saying, okay, well, what would I even say? Use the formula, attention, interest, desire, 
action. Yep. It's solid. Good. I love Good. this. Well That's a great one. done. Well done. Thank you. It works. Yeah. And it's not just me saying, I, my copywriting is so great. It's like your copywriting is only so great as the sales or the results it produces. And in this case, the purpose of it is to get people booking calls with me, getting on the phone and going, can you do this for me? And when can we start? And that's essentially all the calls I get. I get on the phone with them or a Zoom call and they go, I read your page. I watched the video. Like, can, when do we start? It's not tell me why I should book you. Like I've almost given myself the license to be a bit cheeky uh, and forward with that specific offer because it's right on the page. It's cheeky. It's kind of in upfront. I kind of get a little, like that's the brand and the style. So when I get on the call, I almost have license to be part of that brand and they go, if anyone's questioning me or if they're like, so why would I choose you? I go, I don't know. Why would you? <laughs> and it's so great because I don't have to be like overly polite or go, oh, I really need to convince you. I go, look, I don't need your business. And that, yeah. I mean, I would like it. And sure, yeah. I love doing these. I have so much fun. But if you're going to be a pain in my butt, like I would rather not. And so yeah. if someone's like, can you just like show me how you do it? I'll go, Definitely. Book that link. It's $2,500 credit card up front and we're good to go. And I'll show you all yeah. about it. Yeah. And I've had that people go, could you just like show me how it works? Like, like what sort of uh, funnels do you put in place? And what does the back end look like? I'm like, dude, if I'm showing you the secret sauce without you paying to play, like that defeats the purpose. Book a yeah. day, man. It's only 2,500 bucks. Like if you're actually in business and you want to do... If you want to skyrocket those sales, double those leads, and you want me to go in and clean up shop and make your convert kit count better than everybody else's, which it always is, pay the price and let's yeah. do it. And you'll come back and do it again because that's how much you like it. And almost all of the clients come back and book it again. I just had a client. I'm actually doing one next week. He booked one, was so excited about it, called me back again and was like, can we do two? And I was like, yeah, man, let's do two. Yeah. And so I have two days back to back. And it's just a simple, it's so great because they read so it and it really in, resonates. In that situation, you had him with you for the day on the phone, on Zoom, and you just walked him through the stuff or you did the work for him or a little of both? What was, what was the process there? Because I think that this is interesting and this is an interesting yeah. model for a lot of people. This isn't what we were planning to talk about today, but I, I think that we should dig into this because you're doing something unique here yeah. in the, in the transition to strategy sales, like there's the done for you, yep. which is a lot of people are like, Hey, build me a funnel. And then they're like, Oh, I don't want to pay it to build a funnel. I can just learn how to do it myself. Then you say, well, why don't you just book a day with me and I'll teach you how to do it. Now you're still getting the revenue that you would have had, but you transi transitioned it into an educational engagement instead of a done for you engagement. And I think that that model can help a lot of creatives out there transition into the higher level creative thing of not pushing the pixels as much as teaching the principles or you getting paid for your brain. That's what you're getting paid for. So yeah. what's the... Yeah. What's the process there? Like, how does that, when did you start doing it? How does it work? Yeah. And, so and with this doing... guy, did you have him on the phone? I asked you like five questions. And yep. with this guy, did you have him on the phone on zoom for the day? Or did you just mm. like have a call in the morning, then do some work and then come back and teach him more or what? Yeah. So this specific one. So, okay. So to answer the, when did I start it? I started it uh, just before actually before the pandemic, it wasn't during, it was, it wasn't a pandemic creation. It was prior to it. And I'm grateful that I created it before it because it actually was really nice during the pandemic. There was more of those intensives being booked. Um, yeah. but so I started it years ago and it was just an experiment. I love experimenting in online business. I'm going to try this and see if it works. I'm going to mm -hmm. try this. And mm -hmm. some of those experiments really turn out well. A lot of them don't. Um, but this one was something that was really great. I have it in my back pocket. If I, if I ever want to do more service work, it's like there, it works, it's great, and I love it. Um, so that's when I started it. I put up a simple just HTML text page. Like it's no design on it. It's like green and there's nothing fancy. 
And it's just like selling the offer. The offers is the, is the magic. And, um, and when you say the, the offer, you're not saying email. The offer is one day of my time. One day of my time, completely transforming your ConvertKit account. So it's very yeah. um, heavy on the, I'll do it for you. It's a done for you yeah. service. You have to give me your ConvertKit account and I have other things like I need your branding, messaging, colors, high res photographs. Give me your current copy, your blogs, blah, 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 blah. There's a whole bunch that the client has to do. And they give it to me. I go into their ConvertKit account, basically do a full reset on it. And everything is transformed from their funnels to their lead magnets, to their inputs, to all of it. And then um, it's documented. And then at the end of it, I, I give them a video, like a loom video showing them how it works. And then it's done. They get some support afterwards if there's any issues, but that's it. So it's very hands-off. And in fact, I, do, uh, I try to stay away from with that offer, the consulting style um, work, because I think there's a better way to do it, which we can get into in a second here if we want to. But instead of one person booking me for a day to teach them, I just say, book me for the day and I'll just do it for you. If you want me to teach you, what I would do is do that in a group session and I have way more leverage because if, instead of me teaching one person the same thing, I'll teach five people, charge a fee for a group class, and then I'm teaching five people. They get a, a lesser cost, but now I'm making more money in the, let's call it a five-hour session. And that would be me selling my thinking, selling my brain, selling my, my, my strategy, but at higher leverage. Because now I could do it for five people. I could do it for 10 people. I could do it once a week if I had enough demand. Uh, but for the doing, the done for you service, it's book my day and I will do it for you. In fact, I don't want you to talk to me because you'll slow me down. Mm -hmm. You have all your homework to do before. You don't need to book the day off with me. I don't actually want you participating in it with me because I do my best work. I literally listen to music and for the day, churn this thing out. A lot of the time I get it done before the end of the day, which means I have more time to improve things, tweak things, mm -hmm. shoot a great video, send it off and then have a coffee and, you know, be done with the day. It's magical. And it's a, it's a great offer. And the offer, like you said, it's not email. It's transforming what your ConvertKit account does for you. It's you in your ConvertKit account, always trying to add the new feature, the new funnel, the new this, the new that, and you're just wasting time and not getting anything done. And it's all a mess. I go in there, it's full strategy. It's installed, customized to you. And you'd never be able to do it as good as I do it. Not because I think I'm so great at it. It's just, it's me dedicating the entire concentrated workday. And I've done so many of these that in order for you to do it as good as me, you'd need to basically invest that much time, effort, and energy, and you won't do it because you have better things to do. So why not just hand over a little bit of cash? I'll do it for you. And by the end of the day, it's done. Yeah. And that's the offer. And that always is what sells it. Well, what do you do with the guy who says, uh, can you just show me how to do it? Where, where do you put that guy in your sales process so or girl? If I, if I wanted I to make, when I say guy, yeah. because I'm a product of like the eighties, a guy is just any human, any human just a person. So, yeah. 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 I'm yeah. super uh, sensitive to the, uh, times to the time, to the time. and how I talk. Anyway, go. I hear you. I hear yeah. you. In this case, it was a guy. Quite literally. Okay. Well, that's uh, good. So what we do you can do say with that dude then? What do you do with that dude? Um, yeah. So I, I did have a guy who actually said, can you just show me how to do it? And um, I said, no. And if I wanted to get more out of this offer, and if I wanted to like make it more of a full-time operation, then what I would do is I would offer, you know what? Once a month, we do uh, a group cohort class with five entrepreneurs who want me to show them how to do it. And it's this much, it's a half day session, 
it's, in, it's a lot of training. You get resources, this, you get the replays and Q and A at the end of it, but I can create a really great class out of it. And I'd probably sell out of them mm -hmm. because there are people who are like technically savvy enough in convert kit and they don't want to pay 2,500 or three grand for me to do it. They're like, I can do it or I'm not making enough money for me to just pay someone to do it. But I would like to know the strategy behind it. Then I would sell that in a cohort based class with five to 10 people. And it'd probably be an excellent offer. In yeah. fact, I think I'll put that together. I just don't have enough time to do it um, yeah. at this stage. Now, there was the other guy who's booked two back-to-back -back intensives. Now, the reason why he did that was because he saw the value in it so much, he sold himself on doing more of it. He thought, this one day is for this particular offer, but I have another offer that I need installed into this whole email strategy. So instead of us revisiting it in the future, what if we just did it all at once? And I said, great, I can't do two of those things in one day. That's... I won't be able to do that for you. He said, what if we just did two intensives? Can you do one day this day and one day the next day? And I said, yes, definitely we mm -hmm. can do that. Just fill the form out again and pay the fee. In fact, I gave him a discount for doing a repeat customer. I always do that. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. um, so now we have two full intensives of me just doing done for you service. Mm. But if he wanted to do a teach me how to do it, I would do a class with a group of people because I'd have more leverage in terms of the, the revenue I'd be able to generate rather than just sitting around with one guy to tell him my secrets. Yeah. I wonder while you were talking, I was wondering how this could transition to other types of creative entrepreneurs. And I believe that we're entering into a world because of AI and because of Canva templates and because of the simplicity of Canva and things because the average person can get a decent design in a variety of different places. Now does not have to be the college graduate graphic designer who produces the, the good design and everything else sucks. That's the way it was 20 years ago, but that's not the way it is anymore. I pull up some of these templates and they're freaking great. Like I look, I look at it, Email marketing, for example, I mean, even ConvertKit has some of these templates built into their system. You can just go and say, I want to start with this template and you change the copy and change out the image and you're ready to go. So mm -hmm. this is the world that we're entering into. But what the average customer does not know is what makes it good, which one should they choose of all of these turnkey solutions out there. There's still a knowledge gap. And I was thinking there could be an offer in there for, for not every designer, but for some designers, even on things like logo design, where you have a, a logo design and you're telling your client, okay, it's going to be $3,000 and I'll design your logo for you. And the client's like, oh, I don't know, because there's templates out there and stuff. I'm, I'm kind of, I don't know if I want to spend that. I was kind of hoping more to spend like $800 or $700. You could have an offer that comes on the backside of your done yeah. for you service that is like, oh, I see you kind of want a do it yourself thing. Well, that's a viable world that we live in here, but you don't have a design degree and you haven't studied this stuff. And how do you know mm -hmm. that the template you're even going to choose is even any good? Yeah. What I can do is I have a training that I do once a month for people just like you. And we get on a call and it's about a two hour call. It's a $700 buy-in and we only have a couple people on. So you'll have plenty of time to ask questions and I'm going to teach you what makes a good logo, what you should be looking for, how to find the logo or how to build a, an AI logo. If that's what you want to support, I, I don't personally want to support AI generated design, even though we're yeah. using it as example copy here. But anyway, that's a whole nother conversation. But you can I'll teach you the places you can go. I'll teach you how to go mm -hmm. to Envato Elements and sign up and see where the templates are or where Canva and sign up and where the templates are and how to change your text on it and choose the one that is right for you and for your customers. I'll teach you that process so that you can do it yourself, but you do it from a place of education, not just mm -hmm. from a place of willy nilly. Would you be interested in something like that? And I could, I could see that easily being something that some of these designers that are out there trying to scale from $700 logos to $3,000 logos 
really should just be doing two or three hour phone calls for 700 bucks and teaching the client how to get their cheap logo themselves. And then you hang up the phone at the end and you're not on the hook. Oh, you gave them the education. That is what what do you think of that offer, Brad? Do you think that uh, that would fly with some clients? You've worked with a lot of small businesses in the past. What, what, how do you think an offer would fly? And we could do the same thing for websites. Yeah. Here's how do you do your content planning? Yeah. Here's how you choose the right template on Squarespace or Wix or wherever you're going to go and, and uh, mm-hmm. build your site. By the way, we support Wix. So Wix is the place that you would build your site. That's but the place you'd go. How to choose the right template and how to yeah. use the bare bones Wix. Let's do that yeah. in our Let's, three hour educational call. That's brilliant. I honestly love this format. When you're offering your creative services, you should try. And we talked about this in our in one of our episodes where we did like the like the triple threat when we talked about the triple threat formula for pricing. You can also do yeah. a triple threat style approach to your offer and I think I mentioned it, which was a done for you offer, a done with you offer and a do it yourself offer. Now that's not my original idea. It's, I think it's been recycled a million times. You can you can see that, but it's a, because it's a proven approach. Just like the AIDA formula is a proven approach to selling using copy. Now, the done for you, we already know what that is. Is let's say let's say it's your web designer and you build websites on Wix Studio. It's your preferred platform. You go custom. You know we do custom uh, websites using Wix Studio because of all these reasons and you know let's call it a ten thousand dollar starting price and let's say your target market again we could be really specific and use our brewery example you could say we do full custom branding and you could show some of those big players that you worked with like you've got the molsons and uh, whatever else is out there you know internationally you could see you know i did work for this brand like check out this website and this branding Okay. Great. And if you don't have that, that brand, a, create concept projects. Concept that show, projects. Go, that show a great yeah. brand. Build a great create, brewery website and use yeah, it as your sales thing. fodder. Yeah. Yeah. Do the full thing. You could create a full website yeah. with like e com and everything and use a concept and go, look, this is yeah. like what we would do. And because we haven't landed any uh, clients with our flagship done for you offering yet, instead of our $25,000 pricing, like, we're going to come in at 10,000 and you're going to get that. And we're going to very quickly get out of that price range because it's not sustainable, mm-hmm. but there you go. So there's your done for you. Now let's say we got a lot of breweries who are, who are popping up, which they are, uh, but they can't afford like a $20,000 custom offering. Yeah. Or even 10,000. A lot of them are they're going to ten- balk at 10,000. Yeah. They don't even have that. They, they just, it's yeah. not feasible for them. Okay. Well, there's a done with you version of your offer which is targeted to that ver- that market within your industry, within your niche. And basically it's, you can say once a month, we do a training for brewery owners and their staff, especially if you got a designer or like a buddy who does your design stuff, whatever, bring them in. You can bring in your team. And I train you on setting up your site using a template You know, we give you some options here. We can use the Wix Studio templates. There's a few that really work. Maybe you designed a few yourself that are like proven brewery templates. Pick one, get it set up. We do some work. It's a full day session. Let's call it $1,500. So really accessible price point, especially when compared to $20,000 to $30,000. It's crazy. We'll show you how to do it. We'll show you how to set it up. By the end of the day, you will have your brewery website on like done ready and ready to go for you to hit publish and and you can convert it to a premium site or whatever if you want and for $1500 I'll show you exactly how to do that you get the recordings as well you get support afterwards for you know 10 days and we'll leave up uh, the community chat there for you to talk with your other brewery owners mm-hmm. about any web site related questions and it's $1,500 and we do it once a month and there's only 10 spots because we need to be able to help every single person. So just imagine that you've got 10 people at your $1,500. So there's your $15,000 in a month teaching brewery owners who can't afford your $15,000 website. Yeah. But now you're teaching 10 of them how to do yeah. it using a template. Okay. Yeah. That's the done with you. 
And then there's one more prong of this, which is the do it yourself. You have a template and they don't even want to come to the session. You could sell your Wix studio brewery template for $150 on the Wix studio marketplace or directly and privately or both. And maybe some of them just buy that. And so you've covered all your bases. You got the bigger breweries who just want the real deal and they'll pay. They don't care about the price. They just want the good stuff done for them. They'll pay the price. Those who yeah. can't afford that, but they want to know how to do it and they want to do it right under your tutelage, then that's a, another price. And if they want to do it themselves, they can buy the template and install, install it themselves and do what they wish with it. That is an excellent approach to yeah. offering your, your creative services. Okay. So while you're talking, I loved all that. And while you're talking, I'm thinking, I, lo I like that you brought in triple threat, by the way, triple threat resonates. I have people in my community mention in the triple threat thing to me and like nice. in my DMS are like, Hey, yeah, that's a triple threat. So nice I have people uh, on that. If you want to listen to that episode, I don't know. It was a few back five or six episodes ago. We did the triple threat yep. pricing anyway. Um, while you're talking, I'm thinking of upsells and downsells in sales. So let's say a client comes to you and they say, I need a brewery website. And you go back to them and you say, okay, here are, here's a way that we can build your brewery website. We can build it on Wix.com and we're going to choose a template. We're going to help you con, uh, craft your content. We're going to populate it with images. We're going to get it all fancy and ready for launch. And that's $6,000, but it's going to be on a template. It's going to be what you've seen a lot of other breweries have. And so for $10,000, we would rather see you in a Wix Studio website, which we can make a custom design that is unique to you. It's unique to you. And then the client says, okay, uh, no, you just tried to upsell them. Uh, I don't want to do 10,000. And you know what? Even six is a little spendy for me. Now you're going to downsell. Now you have a downsell. You say, oh, okay, so I get it. Six is a little, a little much for you. What we can do is a $1,500 done in a day cohort, like what you just described, Brad. Mm -hmm. Now we're downselling that. And then if they're like, oh, I don't really want to, I don't, I don't really want to spend 1500 Then you got another downsell in the, in the toolkit. And that is, you know what? Just buy my template. Just buy my template then. 150 bucks. Figure out how to use Wix Studio or Wix yourself. You can take tutorials. Go on YouTube. Find tutorials and figure it out or just open it up. Maybe you're tech savvy and you can figure it out. But this is going to at least give you a starting spot. And that's 150 bucks. How about that? So you're giving them an offer. And then you're attempting to upsell them into a better, bigger offer. But you're ready to sell them on the down if they don't have that, if they don't want that initial offer. And I think that's such an effective way to position yourself at the sales table where you're like, you got options, you got options. Yes. And designers sometimes struggle with that because they go to the table and they're like, here's my logo price. And it's like $3,000 and they push it across the table and they're like, I'm either going to win or lose. I'm either yeah. going to win or lose. And when they lose, they're like, dang it, I lost. Instead of having something as a fallback offer. Yeah. So I think my encouragement there, based on this conversation, Brad, is what are your freaking, what are your upsells? What are your downsells? Yeah. Well, it's so great. It's so fun talking about it because even just hearing it, I can already, I already know what they are. And I think I've had them there on standby, but I've just never executed on them because I haven't, I haven't needed to. Because this is not, I don't give my full-time attention to this offer. If I wanted to, I could, but I don't have to right now. I don't need to. So I don't want to, it takes a lot of time. Like it's a day of effort and then there's prep prior to it. So I only try to take on one or two a month. Um, but if I wanted to do two a week, I could, if I had that mm -hmm. capacity, but the way I would like create a triple threat offer on that is, well, I've got the done for you, which is the complete strategy overhaul, give me the keys to your convert kit and I'll turn it around for you and then hand the keys in the instruction manual and everybody's happy. So there's the done for you. The done with you is 
uh, a once a month live training, a virtual live training, where we have 10 creators with ConvertKit accounts pay, let's call it $1,000, you know, maybe even 500 if I wanted to try an introductory price. 10 creators at $500, I will show you how to do it yourself. And I'll even give you plug and play templates to install some tips for your writing on how to use AI in the right way. Uh, everything from the custom fields, to the tags, to the strategy, mm -hmm. to how do you think about when I'm doing a live webinar launch, to how do I sell my other courses, to all of it. I've already went through all these scenarios. I'll show you. I'll give you a little playbook, some resources, and we'll have plenty of time for Q&A and us to go and dig around and make some changes to your ConvertKit account in real time with five to 10 other people. And that's the done with you once a month. So I can always prep for it. And the done do it yourself is I just create five, uh, five like must have plug and play convert kit templates for creators that you need mm -hmm. to have to sell your courses, your memberships, your communities, and your, uh, you know, your digital products or your speaking, whatever it is, to sell your mm -hmm. offer on ConvertKit, mm -hmm. here are the five must-have uh, templates. Yeah, and ConvertKit lets you do it. You can literally install templates into your yeah. account. So I would do that, yeah. and I would have a companion course, maybe like four or five lessons walking through it. So I'm not there. I'm just asynchronously teaching you. And that would be, let's call it $250. You know, honestly, I could probably charge more. All the prices could be higher. But it would be yeah, like... Yeah. $2,500 for the done for you, uh, a thousand for the done with you, 500 for the, you know, plug and play templates with a course. That's how I would do that. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. And I think that there's a lot of value in it for the 2P offers. Uh, yep. TP, TP, two picks, two P offers, t whatever we call the listeners of two pixels off the, we're still working Pixels. on it, workshopping it. The, but um, you can plug you can plug that I, idea into any of your offers, your creative offers, yeah. graphic design, web design, logo design, branding, copywriting, email. I can create triple threat yeah. offers for all of them. Okay, so let's recap today because we got on a lot of little tangents. We we started with the AIDA formula and the request or the importance or the emphasis that you should be crafting sales copy based on tried and true formulas, not just whatever pops into your head, crafted against a formula. And AIDA is one of the most tried and true formulas of all time. It's been around 100 plus years since the advent of advertising, AIDA has been there. And then we started going into the idea of upsells and downsells. And part of your downsell is the consulting side, the done with you side of an offer, which I think designers need to be paying close attention to because some of the pixel pushing is getting easier and it's being done in other ways, including artificial intelligence. And so yep. if you wanna stay relevant, You've got to figure out how am I going to sell my brain, my expertise? How can I help my clients get to the end goal that they want to get to with, without me having to push the pixels because they want to do it themselves because some of the tools or the methods are accessible enough for them to do it. And every designer yep. needs to be thinking of that. Yep. That's you have anything else on the true. recap, Bradley? Yeah. On that recap? No, for sure. Think about... Those, I love that we kind of like started off in one direction and went another kind of a yeah. fun little yeah. format today, but yeah. the think about the, how you can take your offer and turn it into a triple threat model. I, I hesitate to say that because I don't want this to be another triple threat episode, but yeah. the three variations that done, done for you, done with you and do it yourself, especially that done with you, because anybody can push pixels. Anyone can do templates. Anyone can do that. Whereas no one's going to be able to replace you and your approach. And that's where building your own personal brand and that's where creating content. And that's where teaching others what you know about it is so powerful. And 
it can be more accessible in pricing. And then you only need a handful of people signed up to your consulting calls, your group sessions, your community. Maybe it's a membership, whatever it is, however you want to deliver that. Think about how you might do that rather than I'm a graphic designer and I do graphic design services for whoever mm -hmm. will give me money because that's not going to mm -hmm. work out. So think about how you might how you might incorporate that. And then in terms of selling it, use the AIDA formula. Think about how do I take that really great offer and apply the AIDA copywriting formula to sell it digitally on your website and also in person. Yeah. I think it's good. Great. Well, I think it's great. Um, Hopefully yeah. people got some good value out of this conversation. Yep. I did. I agree. Dude, it sparked a billion ideas for my own junk. So it's junk great. being the valuable services that I offer the world. Yeah. There you go. That's the, that's the junk. We I'm take your junk to. and we turn it into gold you know, nuggets. Gold nuggets. Exactly. Yeah. Well, yep. uh, this was a great session. I really like this was spontaneous. It was very fun. So I'm excited to see how you try and title this episode because that is. A I already challenge. was writing. I was already working on titles while you were talking. <laughs> I was like, man, it's we're all over the place. So, yeah, I don't know what this is going to be called. It's, all, it's right. already well, working. It's good. It's already working on. Yeah. Perfect. Well, thanks everybody for listening. I hope this was a valuable ep episode for you. Let us know in the comments if you're watching it or in a review. Maybe you've got some cool ideas for a triple threat and creating different offers or the AIDA formula in your business and your service offerings. Let us know. We'd love to know that. Uh, special shout out to our friends at Wix Studio. We talked them about them a lot in this episode and how you can incorporate it. So you should try that. And finally, mm -hmm. leave us some reviews. It's always great to see that. It's very encouraging and also helpful for the algorithm makes us get more popular and that's always fun mm. well it's always thanks everybody thanks mike we'll catch you in the next thanks one. see you soon